All right, everybody, the time has come. Who is ready for the Corgi finale? Everyone is absolutely psyched. So we had eight heats, but now we've got nine Corgis because one of those races was a dead heat. So there are nine Corgis vying for the champion. I'm sure everybody here has a favorite. Let's see who's going to take the top spot. Tom, this is going to be one heck of a race. Absolutely, the 2022 Corgi Championship is upon us here at Emerald Downs as the Corgis have assembled on the track and we're just moments away from the championship. A field of nine will race off the mark. Who will it be? They line up for the championship race. Wrong way, Loki out of Everett has that inside post and Russell Wilson from Bellevue, Bailey, post three out of Seattle. Here's a look at Norman, number four. We move on to number five, Outland's Will-O-Wisp from Vancouver. Milo Benz is number six out of Puyallup. Number seven is Solo, racing out of Ording, Washington, close by. From post position, number eight is Darby from Bonnie Lake. And on the outside, number nine is King Leo from Kirkland. And that's your field for the 2022 Corgi Championship here at Emerald Downs. They stand at the ready. And the flag is up. And Corgi's away. King Leo off to a good start. Oh, and they're really tight quarters to the finish. On the inside, wrong way. Loki was close with Bailey. We have yet another photo finish, but wrong way. Loki may have gotten clear in the late stages. We'll have to look at the replay. What a race. Everybody was in tight quarters in this one. Wrong way. Loki just in front at this point. But right there is Bailey. Those two take it to the finish. Wrong way. Oh, and on the outside we had one too. So we may have to look at this again. Let's take a look. Did Norman perhaps from the outside was right up there in the photo finish. Wrong way, Loki and Bailey. All three fighting it out to the wire. Here comes the finish. Who got the nose down? <laughs> Here we go again. We'll have to defer to the judges track side. And there you see wrong way Loki just enough. Won it by a whisker. Wrong way Loki has been declared the official winner in yet another tight finish. Time to check in with Alex at the winner's circle. So this is another story of redemption. Last year, he ran the wrong way. He was going to take four, uh, first and then just went the wrong way. So. This year he promised not to do the same thing and he didn't. He didn't at all. How proud are you? So proud of him. He's gonna get a lot of treats. Gonna drop the ball. <laughs> I was gonna say, how much did you remind him of his mistakes last year? Every day. <laughs> Listen, Loki, you can't go the wrong way this year. Might have changed his name next year. Yeah, is it gonna be right way Loki? Well, Reigning champ. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe wrong way again. So we don't want to think so. Yeah, that's true. You don't want to mess with it. Um, so what's the evening hold for this winner? Winter treats and it's my treat, everything massage. <laughs> and you think you'll be back next year? Oh, sure. I would imagine all you folks are going to be back next year to vibe for this fun. <laughs> yeah. My other question is, does he have room for this trophy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Loki, where, where are you gonna it? put that? Is that four feet? I feels feels like it's pretty close, honestly. Well, congratulations. Anything else you want to say to attribute to Loki's success? No, Emerald Downs does a really good job at Corgi race every year, and it gets better. So you'll be back next year. Everybody will. And speaking of, we'll find out who takes the top spot in 2023. We'll see you then.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.